to the show that never ends. We're so glad you could attend. Come inside, come inside. 1983, a year to remember for East Carolina University football. 13 but unbeaten season. A top 20 ranking to end the season. A victory over Missouri and North Carolina State. The school's first consensus All-America. Indeed, 1983 was a year to remember for East Carolina University football. From the very start, the Pirates faced a supreme challenge with seven road games against the best in college competition. The strongest schedule in school history. Week one was a trip to Tallahassee, Florida to meet the seventh ranked Seminoles of Florida State University on Airline 737 Charter. It was a packed house that greeted the Pirates at Doe Campbell Stadium, and they had no idea what a heart-stopping thriller they were in store for. From the very beginning, ECU made its impact, spooking the to prevent the usual dynamic fire sword pregame ceremony that's designed to psych out opponent players. Never did Renegade respond as desired. And it was a sign of things to come. East Carolina gets the first break in the game as number 93, Hal Stevens, recovers a Seminole fumble in the first. Quickly, the Pirates move on offense. Kevin Ingram hits Ricky Nichols for nine yards. Tailback Tony Baker rips around right in and picks up seven yards. All ECAC kicker Jeff Heath then connects on a 34-yard field goal for the first of many Pirate points this night. By the start of the second quarter, Florida State had worked its way to a 13-3 lead. Henry Williams, the nation's number one kickoff return man in 1983, ripped his first try 37 yards. The kickoff return set up the end results. A touchdown pass from Ingram to tight end Norwood Van, 35 yards, and with the kick, a 13 to 10. Then comes a bold move for the coaching staff, an onside kick called the Bam Bam play, with kicker Heath recovering at the Florida State 33. Again, the Pirate offense moves to score, with Ingram getting the final 13 yards, back atop 17-13 when the first quarter ends. Second quarter play moved the game to 23-20, ECU's advantage. But little Henry Williams wants more. A Florida State punt return provides the opportunity. Loves Henry. But Henry, why the flip after the touchdown? Uh, that's just something I just did in junior college. I've been doing that a long time. With the Pirates up 30-27 to, to start the second half, he stayed another dose of his return ability. 99 yards, and the Pirates lead by 10, 37-27. But late in the third quarter, the Seminoles slip ahead 41-40, but ECU is not finished. Inked up another Pirate score on this 10-yard surge. And with just 12 minutes to play, fullback Ernest Biner gives the Pirates a 46-41 lead. Then, disaster's old pass interception gives Florida State a scoring opportunity and a 47-46 lead. Things don't look good at this point for ECU. But wait, Kevin Ingram is loose on the right side and puts us in film for Jeff Heath until the big fumble call. Shockwaves hit the country with a final 47-46 score, and Pirate fans in Greenville are stirred up.